again for another horror play 3 today we will be playing alone in the dark so yalah without further ado let's just get another game let's see what the game has to offer hmm standard for those who want to figure out everything for themselves no extra system no extra help please holy shit that is not good but music's like that it is not good Oh, ribbit, 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 ribbit. Kill it. Huh? Ah! Kill it. Kill it. Oh, okay. Boo! I'm getting goosebumps. Alone in the dark. I'm so scared. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. Oh. As in the devil? No. Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Okay. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? How should I know? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Holy shit. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? How should I know? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Oh no! I don't wanna! Oh. Choose our character. Hmm. She's on the first, on the left. Maybe should should I play as Emily or Edward? He has a gun. Let's just see. Okay, I'm dead. Hello. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Everyone a dead. Big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. No. No. Holy shit! I'm going to be dead. I am going to be dead. Chapter one. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh. Huh. Stupid scribbling. What is this? Oh. It's an engine block. Hello? Is it... Oh, I have a gun. Is this Resident Evil? I'm scared. What's this? Flashlight. Back. Kitchen garden key. Open. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Can I open? Oh! Stop! I don't like any sounds. Cannot do anything here. Right. I am scared. Stop it! Ooh, this shit, I'm scared. Shut up! Uh, kitchen garden key. Ooh! Hello? Huh! Shut the fuck up, cat! You scared me! Hello, old lady! Well, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Chain door. Oh, I thought it was an old lady. Hello? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. What am I supposed to do that? the flower. Shit, I'm scared. Housekeeper's key. Hmm. Nothing describing where to use it. I'm scared. I am scared. I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Oh, okay, get up. Hmm. I don't like Resident oh. Evil type of game. Drink. Look. Look. Can I go up? Can I go up? Is there anything that I miss? I'm so scared. Find the front door and let Detective Karn be inside. Stop. I'll just take this. Yes, yes. Take everything that you can. Leave nothing behind. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. 
It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Oh, no. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around, that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. Mm. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madame. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay, let's get... Ooh. Shit, only one. I'm scared. So quiet. I take it back. Stop walking, please. Take the cleaver, please. Red poison. What for? <gasps> what was that? What should I know? Hello? Oh my goodness, I'm scared. No? No. Street car ticket. 
They must pass through then. Should I venture down? I need okay. the key. Oh, for the love of God, yes. I don't have to go down, at least for now. Hmm, I am scared. No running. Hello? Huh! Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Oh. Shit. Am I missing a few things? That doesn't look safe. You think? Shit, where's the front door then? Okay, it's locked. Skid. Where's the front door? Is this the front door? No, it's the library. I need the key. I know, I know, I know. I need the key. Holy shit. Everything needs a key. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Oh shit. I am scared. Fool. Okay. I came from there. What shot? It looks important. Am I supposed to go then? <sighs> I need the key. I know. a key. Hmm, what's this? How should I know? Oh, is that that? I 
I need the key. I know. Okay. My peers dining room. Grand parlor. Is it the upper? How should I know? I need the key. Okay. I keep forgetting. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on Rise New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau, and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author Seeks Asylum Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. Okay. Well. Stop it. I need the key. Oh my goodness, so many keys. Oh, wait, finally. Wait, don't. No. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Well, of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. 
<laughs> My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine, I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Holy shit. There were no people just now. Just go. Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. Oh my goodness, I cannot breathe. Thank you. Ah, Are you crazy or something? Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Oh my goodness. Lockbox. Can I? I cannot. No, not yet. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Pirosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured oh, out of fantasy and delirium. Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. Let my uncle trip inside the painting. I found this tube as well. Should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood? Emily? 
I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Hey. 30 minutes of nothingness. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did... Oh, shit. Silent Hill. It looks like Silent Hill. With the fog and everything. Boom. Should I go? I don't wanna... How do I heal? Um, controls. Controls layout. No, keep key binding. Mm. Where is it then? Consume. G. Holy shit. What happened? Now I'm scared. There's another one. I can't go that way. Why not? Oh, bullets. Okay. This can't be. I'm scared. Batiste? 
How'd you get here? I was back at Dorsetto. Looking for my Uncle Jeremy. Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? I don't know. What happened, Batiste? How are we here? Do you know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. Bad juju. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Oh, I don't wanna. Can I stay here with you? Thank you. You big strong man. I'll take a look. Stay I'm safe. I'm scared. Oh. Ah, uh, shit. But these! There are three keys on the chain. One that opens up to Miss Jackson's place. In the French Quarter, then there are two belonging to the Seto. One for the clerk's office and one for the library. Okay. I'm scared. Preserve reptile. I don't care about that. Oh my goodness, Batiste. I'm scared. Maybe it did. I'll play it in the next playthrough, I guess. I think I'm going to make a playthrough of this game. It's quite interesting, let's be honest. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, right? Look forward for the part 2. Alright, ciao, ciao, who of you? Save game. Wait, wait, wait. Empty slot. Alright. Ciao, ciao, who of you?